Hey guys, it's Steve from Skunk Off Tackle. I just wanted to give a little demonstration on how to use a planter board. Apparently a lot of people don't don't use them that much. Maybe new to striper fishing, so I'll show you how you do it. First off, you gotta put, get your bait. And this does not always have to be live bait, but that's what we're using on this trip. I know people that pull umbrella rigs and Alabama rigs and all kinds of good stuff. So you hook your bait on there how you want to. Then you're gonna set him out how far you want. In this case, uh, we'll probably do him, let's do 15 feet. So we got him out there about 15 feet. Grab your line. And this is another thing specific. These corkscrew or pigtail um, swivels you make a loop in your line and you go around that right there spin it until it's all the way in the base and you're good to go you come up here and just squeeze your clip put your line in there there are people that say you should twist it one time i personally don't do that i haven't seen any problem then you just Get it on out there, and the way we do it, usually we get the boat moving about a mile an hour or so. Leave the clicker on, let it pull out till we get it where we want it, then lock it in and wait for a fish. Hope that was helpful. Hey guys, something else I wanted to talk to you about and show you with this planter board. Again, remember, these are just opinions. No hard set rule, but this is the way I do things, the why I do it, and what works for me. So, as you can tell now, we have two planter boards out. And so you have the front one here, back one there. Depending on your rod holder setup, kind of changes how you can do this. But the good rule of thumb I, I use, your furthest board away from the boat needs to be in the rod holder the closest to the back. So there's your long outside board. And this would be your inside board. And the reason you do that is, and if I could do it right now, I can't at here at the moment because of where I'm at. But when you make a turn, if, if I'm turning towards these boards, the line for the long board lays on the water and stays behind the front board. If you have them swapped, when the long one goes slack, the short, if the short one's still pulling, it'll run over top of it and tangle it. So that's the reason we do it this way. You know, lots of things people just do because it's the way they like it. We've been doing this long enough. We actually have legitimate reasons for most of the things we do. Some things were just silly and superstitious and that's just why we do it. But that particular case, that's what we've just found works best for All us. Right. I'm gonna show y'all how we hook a gizzard shad that we're fishing with today. Take your hook. You go right in their top lip and out their nose. If you go through both lips, it kind of uh, keeps them from breathing and whatnot and they seem to die quicker. But you go through that top lip, most time that's the ticket. Good tip there. And if you get getting something else to go along with that, I see people sometimes go from nostril to nostril. And when you do it that way, then they have the ability to slide on the hook and hook themselves when you go the way he just did in the mouth and out of the top they can't they can't slide up the hook to hook themselves in the side so another good little pro tip hey guys hopefully the wind's not getting this too bad um we'll try to do some more later but something i wanted to show you in my opinion what much makes my boards better than the other boards like i hope you guys can see this we're pulling this bank and there's trees here and I'm probably, if I don't do something, I'm gonna put this outside board in one of those treetops. But the boards are light enough that you can just pick it, pick up your rod tip and swing it like that and come right on past whatever you want and it didn't trip the board. So, and they, as you can tell, they still pull great um, while staying light. So, just wanted to show that get to you guys. So that's one of my big things that I really like about my boards that I've made here just how light they are compared to other boards 
pull true. They don't flop over when you're not pulling them like some other boards that we, we will not un, we will not name. But yeah, the big thing is they're just they're so light. Here, I'll even do it here again. I mean, if you if you snatch it, you can intentionally do it. But if you don't want to pop the board, I just mean, picked the rod tip up and I just just moved it 10 feet away from the bank, so I can get past this tree right here without having to reset the board every time I get a little too close.